This is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and today we're going to be turning this wine bottle into the cutest puppy Mod Podge bottle. So let's get started. I found these adorable little doggy napkins at the Dollar Tree. And I was in there doing some Christmas shopping and I just happened to come across this uh, section where they had tons of napkins with so many different themes. And this is a two ply napkin and it's a 30 count. So you can't beat that for a dollar. So I'll be using this um, in several craft projects and I'm more than likely gonna go back and get more napkins. I'm also gonna be adding some blue yarn and I, I feel like that blue is gonna look really pretty on my bottle because this has a little bit of blue in it. So I think that'll really enhance my creation. And then I'm somehow gonna incorporate this ribbon, this polka dot ribbon to bring out the texture in this red and white that's already in the napkin. So I think that's gonna look really pretty. These napkins are pretty big. So this is what they look like. So I'm gonna be cutting them down to size in order to fit my bottle. What I am gonna do is because it's a two ply, I'm gonna separate it. And I saw several people uh, suggest um, using, separating um, the napkin so it's just one layer since it's a two ply. And so let's see if I can pull this apart. I'm just wetting the tip of my finger just a little bit. And I'm finding an area where I can actually separate it. Okay, so I just wet it just a tiny bit. And then I just, I'm just pulling it apart so it's just one single layer. And so that should make it go on a little bit more smoothly too. And so I'm gonna cut this down a little bit because of course it's upside down on one side. So I want it all to be one and I'm gonna just fit it however I can on my bottle. One of the things I love doing is decorating or upcycling bottles. So napkins are a great budget-friendly way to upcycle. And I've collected a bunch of wine bottles over the holidays. Okay, I'm gonna more than likely mod podge my napkin until I get to maybe around this point here, and then I'll probably start with the yarn. So we'll see how that goes. I'm just gonna take this in sections here. You just want to be very careful with this. If you're a pet lover like I am, or a pet owner, or just an animal lover in general, I think this would be a really cute thing to make and a cute gift to give away as well. And that's going on not like really smooth, but I'm okay with that. But smooth enough. Great way to transform all of those plain bottles or even a vase. And I'm just kind of letting it lay itself on there and then I'm just going back over and smoothing it on.
And there you go. And it's still wet, so I'm going to let that dry a little bit. But I'm also going to measure this other little part here. I'm just going to cut a little bit out and maybe overlap it just a little bit so it fits in there. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and cover the top part of my bottle. And I just waited for this to dry a little bit. It's not completely dry, um, but I am going to go over it with some uh, Mod Podge to give it that shine. And so I think the most challenging part is probably cutting it to size. So I only want it to come up to here, to this part right here. And so I'm going to start around the same place as I Mod Podge that top piece. And just be careful because the Mod Podge is still wet and the paper is very, very delicate. And that's why I'm letting it dry just a little bit before I handle it. But that's what it looks like so far. And I just got to fill in that one little spot there. It would have been really great if the napkin was the exact same size as my bottle, but It'll still work. Okay, so while this is drying, I'm going to go ahead and put my blue yarn, wrap it around the top area because this has a like a blue going throughout. So I thought this would look nice to kind of break it up a little bit and put some yarn on there. So I'm just going to use the Mod Podge. And I've got tons of yarn in my stash. So it's always nice to be able to take some of that and use it in my projects. And this yarn works really well with Mod Podge. So if you're ever wondering, it works really good. And so I just want you to see what I'm doing here. I'm just wrapping it around real close. And that way you don't have so much of the pattern and you're just using different types of things to cover the bottles. I think those really make the best ones when you just have so many different things going on it. On it. Just grab whatever's in your stash. Um, jute twine would probably look nice too on this, but I decided I'd try to yarn this time.
Okay, and since this is a little bit uneven, I'm just coming down right here just to even everything up. And that's only because I cut the napkin a little bit unevenly, but there's a way to fix that up too. So I'm just putting a little bit of Mod Podge on there to make it look nice and even around there. And I'm just going to go ahead and let that dry so that you can see what it looks like. Okay, so that first layer is dry and I haven't gone over it with the Mod Podge yet. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And I'm just holding it at the top and just smoothing some Mod Podge over this. And I'm just lightly brushing it. And it's okay that it looks cloudy like that because it's going to look awesome when it's dry. I haven't decided if I'm going to give this to my sister or not. Or just make another one maybe. Because she has four dogs. And she would really love something like this. She actually has several of my creations at her house, just all around her house. And so I love going over there and seeing those, those things. It's nothing like making something handmade. So I'm being very gentle, just taking my time. And I'm holding it like this because I don't want it to be on the paper because then it, you'll have a whole other problem with it sticking to the paper. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and let that dry and it does look very cloudy but it's going to dry clear and we'll come back and see what it looks like. Okay so my bottle is all dry and what I decided to do is take that polka dot ribbon and just go around this area right here around the center just to add a little bit to it. I'm also going to add a little bit to the top, just a little bit of red to the top, and I think that will break up the color. So I'm just going to add that right there, and I think that will be nice. I like the way that brings out a little bit of the red in here too. And so that will balance it out a little bit as well. So all I'm going to do is just take a little bit of Mod Podge. Not too much. And I'm just going to add a little bit of thin ribbon right around that top area there. And so that's what it looks like, just adding that little bit of red. But I'm really loving these napkins. Um, let's see if you can see the shine on it. I'll also post pictures at the end. And I want to show you something else that I did also using that same napkin. I've been working on this box and my husband wanted me to make something to put our keys in because sometimes the keys are all over the house. We just put this 
on a shelf or something and, it, and drop our keys in there it looks good and this was a Starbucks a Starbucks box and this is what it looked like at the beginning of course this is a smaller version of it but I'll be saving this for a future project so it's a really nice sturdy box I just mod podge the napkin onto the box that's what it looks like on the inside and then what I did was I just went around it with a little bit of ribbon and it's got a really nice texture to it so you can use these napkins for so many different things so go get to the Dollar Tree and get those napkins because you can always add them to your collection I hope you were inspired by this project don't forget to subscribe like and of course comment below I just love all of your comments and thanks so much for watching bye